Okay, so the first couple of things we're going to do is, uh, you know, I guess build whatever kinds of uh, plane elements we want to work with. So uh, generally from a design standpoint, um, I think fundamentally it's good to start with a set of rules, right? So the rules that I gave you were that you can only have three different sizes of, of each type of element. So what I probably would focus on is building a family of like elements. So you could choose a set of planes that have a particular ratio, but are all different sizes. You could choose a set of planes that have one singular dimension, but have three different lengths, right? You kind of get what I'm getting at. Um, the, the rule set is really nothing more than a set of variables. So um, to start off with, I guess I'm going to borrow um, layer one. I'll call this planes. Oops. And um, I could just build them off of rectangles, I suppose. Um, so I'll just start here. And let's say I, I'm trying to build a 3 to 1 ratio set of planes to work with. Um, so I'm going to do, let's do 8, uh, start with at 18 feet by 6 feet. Okay, that's a 3 to 1 ratio plane. Then I can do another one. I'm going to say at, let's go with uh, 15 feet by 5 feet. And then I might want one that's um, kind of significantly smaller, I suppose. So I'm going to say at 9 feet by 3 feet. Okay, so that all fits into the rule set that I created for you guys for this assignment. Um, the other alternative, I guess, would be you know a singular dimension that stays locked, and then you have three other alternate dimensions. So to make it easy, I'm just going to go with five feet in one direction. So I'll say at, let me make them aligned, I guess. Go over here. I'm going to do at 20 feet by five feet. And then at 15 feet by 5 feet. Which is exactly the same panel. And then um, at 10 feet by 5 feet. OK. So it's, it's really up to you to define, I guess, what your actual rule set is going to be. But you would just want to pick something that reads as a family. So in my mind, I think both of these kind of read as a family, although it's kind of an illusion because one of them is, is sort of a, a curve, has a, a, like a curvilinear relationship if you were to graph the, the function. But this one has a, a straight relationship. Do you guys know what I mean by that? So like your, your, points on, your points on the graph, if you were to take your x and y's, one of them is going like that, the other one is going like that. So it has a different relationship. Um, anyway, these probably should be lined up more like this. As a comparison. So those are my two families. I'm probably just going to pick. I like this one better. OK. So with these, you can just say extrude. Make sure that you set them to solid. And I like my planes and skin elements to be as thin as possible, so I'm going to go with a half an inch. Okay, and I'll get, I'll get rid of those. So that's it. In like four minutes, we already made one of our families. We're off to the races. Okay, so um, beam sizes. Uh, the beam sizes are rather limited. Uh, it just depends on what kind of spaces, I guess, you're trying to generate. So if you're going to create more like slippage of light so that you're going to have planes with, uh, you know, horizontal beams that are kind of just barely cracking them apart and letting the outdoor lighting in, um, it might make more sense for you to use, um, you know, taller beams. But if you want to get a little bit more, you know, breathability out of your environment, then and you're at a smaller scale, you might want to use square profiles. Um, I've got enough horizontal stuff going on here with those, um, so I think I'm just going to stick with the horizontals and, and keep going with, uh, 
yeah, with those. So let me go into the, uh, let's see, the, yeah, right side view. And I'm going to take my next layer here and call those beams. So I'll do this again on the beam layer. Just set up a couple. I'm going to say I want vertical. So I'm going to do. I'm going to go with uh, six by six, six by one foot, and then six by two feet. No, no, I'm not. Yeah, I will. Wait, no, six and one. Well, I'll see. Let's go with um, six inches. Whoops. At six inches by 24 inches. I'll look at that one and then I'll do another one at six inches by 12 inches. And I typed it wrong. Oh, I did X. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to stick with six inches, and I'm just going to make I'll just make three sizes. So this one's going to be six inches by 18 inches. Okay. So that reads like a family. It has the same relationship to each other that my three panels have to their family. So that makes sense to me, I guess. Does that make sense to you? I'll give you guys a couple minutes to get caught up on this, but uh, real quick, I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna very quickly just select these and I'm gonna say extrude and I'm just gonna pull them, you know, yay long. Doesn't really matter exactly how long, I just wanna get them on there. All right, so what questions do you guys have? Uh, I did 6 by 12 inches, and then 6 by 18 inches, and then 6 by 24 inches. Okay. Sorry, just how much did you extrude the planes earlier? The planes, I only did a half inch. Yeah. I limited you all to up to one inch. Okay, I'm going to stop this video and then we'll get on to uh, composing everything once you've all had a chance to catch up and get your components ready.